Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with Grandmaster Mode Enabled. And I am getting ready for a good mission on Kalem 2, actually, to get some of those red Chaos Seeds. Uh, we extracted one across the seed. And now we want Dolores seeds, and we want a lot of the seeds, so I am wondering if we're, we're um, getting one of those seed extractors. So how about who would be a good seed extractor? Mm. Let's put into that server school five ammo and we got it uh, we got an extractor seed that should give us enough extractions and we are ready to go so buckle up buttercup as uh, we are going in with the gray knights let's slay us some good old chaos <laughs> Appears to be the heart of a hive world dockyard. Is it possible our prognosticators were mistaken? Have some faith, Purifier. What better place is there than a busy transport hub to spread a mass infection? You may have a point, Inquisitor. Brothers, seek for signs of the bloom and destroy any obstacle you find. Okay, we will do exactly that. <clears throat> well. We got at least three teams. Unleash me. All we need to do is to kill all three. Off. Ready for battle. Oh, there is. I am here to serve. We're already seeing the Wars. first group of enemies. Palamedes. I am here to serve. Yes. Um, one turn. Let's do two turns. Going forward, is the triggering? Yep, it is. We will not fail against this menace. <laughs> Three crunchy enemies. And they got the assault order. I like it. Cool. Yes, Commander. As ordered. And here. Uh, that would not be good enough. I will say though that this year seems convenient. Well, but it, it would be four willpower. That's maybe a little bit much. Let's take out uh, your ranged. Cool. Good. Emperor's Light, on the other hand, would actually be good because so then they are blinded. Hail. Unleash me. Here we go. up interrupt this Wounds inflicted. here just 
Just out of curiosity, would that knock him off? I like the idea of knocking them off. I like that a lot. Your orders? Your orders. What is your will? Yes, Commander. Good. We're moving to here. And I'm not sure if I can get all three down. But it does matter because we do have a fallback plan. And that is called Hala Skull. Cool. And this will really mean we're not uh, needing to spend as much into hitting these guys as I would have elsewhere. Stuck. Because we can simply wait to kill them, spend a little bit longer. That guy is a big fat monstrosity. Getting one will point back on our healer. What is your will? You know, I have to try it. To the enemy. Feel my wrath. Might as well give him the war points because we can regain s uh, some next turn. I am with you. Moving up. I am his will. Hitting this guy and hitting I him very well. Too. He will die just for moving into melee combat. These Hala skulls are super good. Another one down. Good turn one done. <clears throat> we have one more turn on our melee weapon. Good. That's a solid hit. Your command. That's another solid hit. Your command. Advancing. Good, we have eight work points here, seven here, seven here. What is your will? Gets him down to one. We would need to reload. This here is giving us a will point back and three. Uh, three action points. Okay, that's good. Standing ready. Moving into a decent position, we 
can hopefully hit all of them. Your orders? And we could trigger them this way. Praise the plague lord! Nurgle does not protect. I told you that many, many times. Carry it to them. Permission to engage, Commander. Oh, you do have the permission to engage here. out of curiosity of course it just does not push them over the edge would be cool if that would have been placed here and then they are just flying over the edge Okay, cool. Unleash me. I am here to serve. Hail. By the way, I am here to serve. Let's extract the seat before anything happens. Seed from this rot. Good. Your command. Moves into cover. Let's see if this works. Easy. Easy. Save as. Here. What is your will? What is your will? At your service. Yes, Commander. Good, we're getting our will points filled up again. and every one of them. Good. Cool. We don't need to use will points because we have uh, the Halo School. Means that our weapon enhancement is gone now. But that's okay. Enough. 
What is your will? Opening fire! Range weapon is gone. That's a secure kill. And we're just using our action points to move as far forward as we can because with that secure kill, this is going to reset all of the action points to three. Which means our next target is big here. Everybody is reloaded. The mechanic with the action points is actually clever because you can use it to your advantage, but it is never fully compromising the integrity of the fights. Plus, the kind of auto reload and so on. It's just a really nice quality of life type of invention. Because really, do you want to 25 times uh, be in the situation that right after a battle you need to you need to reload everyone? Exactly. Me neither. So smart move uh, of the developers. To offer that sort of solution. Yes, Commander. We strive. Ah, could have given us the sword imbuement. It will not make that much of a difference. Today we shall be tested. Advance, sons of barbarous! Arms at the ready. They got the assault order the going orders. for them. Focus fire. Start with becoming vulnerable. I like that. The enemy is wounded. My blade is yours. Then we're extracting that seat. Another foul seat orders. Then we're going to see who has resisted. The answer is no one. Oh boy, I feel bad for you guys. I'm here to serve. That's an insta kill. Fabulous, even if the skull took some damage. Well worth it. What is your will? Ranged weapon immediately goes. What is your will? 
Unleash me. Embrace it. Make him pay. You will rise again. But we're going to empower our core team. Zoe still needs set level up. So any kill that we can hand over to her is well taken. I'm not done with you yet. Great hit. Fantastic. And that could be a kill. Ammo depleted. Almost. Okay, we good. Firing now. Yes, Commander. Your command. Hello, surprise, and whilst we're here, everybody get some extra nice little chance let's overcharge him standing ready cool whilst we're doing this Give me the seat. That's got them. Commander, I recommend you fortify until you can be extracted. We have some unpleasant company. This is coming with me. Unleash me. Hey, let's go. Let's see. <laughs> Hello school, best school. Okay, I want to see if uh, this if this iron arm biomancy is worth uh, something. So plus two stun for one round, and you do have everything that you need in order to pull this off. strike into big fat armor break kill. 
tell you something. Knock yourself out. You get even harder hits uh, that way. Plus one stuff. One. And now we can execute him. Which this should give everybody a key back. He will rise again. So that's not bad. That's not yes, bad at all. Man. Good, lots of stun. It's generally not a bad uh, thing. I am here to serve. You come on. Even more stun. I think for bigger enemies it might work, but when you're hitting that many yeah. hits and are stunning that often. Also executing quite often. What is your will? So that inherently then becomes a problem. Kind of need weapons that also deal stun. I don't know if those exist, so it might just be a pipe dream to pull off that stun. You understand why it might cost a little bit extra, like the three uh, will power are not unreasonable as a pricing, I would say. A favorable position. Extractions two more turns. Okay, well that should be fine. One. Two. This guy unfortunately deal. It's not to uh, receive enough damage. Uh, not enough stun damage, that is. Yeah. Well, too bad. That really didn't help. They are all vulnerable, which is good. I don't want to have to deal with a Nurgle gun.
My will is spent. Yes, Commander. You will heal. Follow me, these. Great hit. What is your will? Fantastic. Good. I don't think that the extractor does anything for enemies where there is nothing to extract. Okay, so it's simply not usable. I see. Okay, we're good. This Fear is our ally. Carry it to them. You will. Teleportation disabled for five turns. Well, it could be worse. Zabaz. But we're getting out of here very uh, soon. So all we need to do is shield up and keep our heads down. We need to fight the last, the last crew. We could do that, but like I said, there is no need. Very good. Easy. So, we got zero armor access. Nice. Yeah, I'm satisfied with uh, the selection, thank you. Good. Um, look, in terms of just pure tank, I started to really like that ability up here. I haven't really used Provoke. Crushing Charge might be cool later. But let's look at other options. Do we want one of our Justicars to use ranged weapons? Or alternatively, do I want to, to rent the unclean?
This here would be ranged uh, damage. This here is really just tanking. I mean, this is a no-brainer. It's just too good to not take it. But let's do the AOE attack for once. He now gets hammer hand. And I just want to see how Dan uh, fe uh, mm, will perform with Rent the Unclean. And JP Pauly. We wanted that and yeah, support fire seems legit very soon some of our other prime team will reach uh, the maximum level uh, there is no great place to stay as far as i'm concerned the bloom is going to spread. The only advantage for us is it's spreading over so many systems that it is relatively easy to save uh, them. Good, got ourselves another research and we got a lot of Dolorious Seeds. Hell yeah! Which brings me to plus one seed on extraction. Uh, that is great. I'm doing that right away because we need a lot of seeds for our research. And the extraction has worked pretty well so far. Our stratagems are also fine. I don't Only mind that. With a Death Guard fleet will prompt an encounter that may leave the Edict damaged. These fleets can also interfere with nearby missions. Oh. Damn. We have no gun batteries in our hull isn't in the best shape. Wait, 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 wait. Level four? Okay, I only need to take a good look at, at that. Level three. Okay, this year. This year will be one of our main planets, Hagen five. Yeah, Hagen was at the edge and Hagen always was a problem child. Always has been. No matter how good your ice cream is, you always have been a fat problem child. Um. Alright, let's advance time. Another prognosticar, which brings me to yet the next option. One more prognostic car. If we can't increase our warp speed uh, far enough, then having an, a prognostic car will help with that, um, because at least we'll get at least we'll get some benefits that way. Minus two corruption level. Enemies detected for missions. Plus one stratagem slot. All right. Cool. The next prognostica we're putting potentially to put it here. And we got one, two, three, four new. If we put it here, the one, two, three, four, five new. Now here and here. One up here isn't bad either. How many new prognostic cars can we get? Uh, 
two, one. Okay, so we get one, two, three, four more. That means with four more, if we put it to here, it's one. Uh, that's suboptimal. We put it here. That just spaces these uh, two planets one. Wait. Put it here. That's that's more like it. So one. That 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 two. All of these. Three, all of these, and four, all of these. And then, with very little exceptions, we got every single planet. It's okay. It's okay. All right, their fleet is moving, which is good. As long as they're not moving here, we good. Nothing is happening. Oh no, another warp storm. Okay, luckily on the other side of uh, this galaxy. How's our research coming? Nine more days. Okay. What are we dealing with? Potential plus one here. go here but this is right next to us so if we go to here though we should be able to reach that right right good so what are we looking for servitor is super good that's what we need and more requisition What are we missing? Grimoires and Togar is going to look like shite afterwards, but it is what it is. All right, double checking. Yes, fantastic. We could even reach Togar. Let's can't do that. No. No, 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 no. Good. What do we need? Uh, we're, we're just killing sea carriers. Easy. No critical injuries. That's good as well. Uh, did we... I mean, we upgraded the weapons, that's fine. What kind of bolter does he have? One with four ammunition, that's good, because he has support fire. And that will trigger relatively often. Yeah, and I think uh, we do have good equipment, so we should be fine. Uh, Zoe and Linus are almost back. Uh, almost level 9 is what I meant to say. And Jim is almost back. So maybe we're going to run into a situation where Zoe and uh, Linus are effectively going to be leveling up. And are joining Anders in that sweet, sweet club of max leveled Sound super dope soldiers. Yeah, that would be good. Cool. In terms of ship status, I think the best 
um, progress at the moment is to invest into Algerium simply because that will give us extra stratagems and it will allow us to do two missions in most of the cases and this year we will definitely need uh, reactor output three is helpful as well but we will need way more servitors for that at the moment we're quote unquote saving up because we're getting the most servitors that we could get plus i'm trying to get some from missions and these things here are not that servitor uh, heavy but they require long uh, um, creation period so that's actually fine uh, which once we're here I might upgrade the reactor there's an option for hull integrity just getting that higher as well and I mean yeah gun batteries need to be repaired at some point but not now I don't I simply don't want we're not going to battle uh, for me uh, the fleet battle unless the game faces me uh, to do it is one of our last priorities this the bloom needs to be reduced so that's why i'm focusing on the auditorium at the moment um, we're pretty okay with the wound healing so i'm surprised this that this did not escalate any further the extra xp could be something that we're looking for just so that we have a broader um, a broader XP gain. Not sure if we need it, but it is nice. But if you lose the game with Bloom, then all of the XP will not get you anything. Um, barracks, certainly uh, something together with XP to be taken care of, but just from a priority auditorium into plasma reactor into kind of maximizing that. Then I think what we are going to do next is warp drive. and potentially that uh, Geller field, because then we're not uh, receiving any more hull damage. Um, and then we're maximum fast and have the maximum delay for all of uh, the missions. And we'll take it from there. At the moment, that's what I'm uh, focusing on. In terms of research, more seats, definitely valuable. And then we will need to see what we're going to do. I like this one here, the Dominate. Uh, so uh, might need to go through Tides of Shadow and then into Dominate. That well, seems like an ultra cool ability to take over a big fat enemy unit for three turns and just drive around the battlefield. Gate of Infinity seems like the best by a margin uh, stratagem that we have gotten so far yeah so that's it that's all i got for today thanks a lot for watching uh, please click on the like button for your own individual gate of infinity to open uh, the your gate of infinity however will lead to happiness and more uh, of the series in the future take care bye bye